Capcom? Man, I haven't played a Capcom game since I played Street Fighter way back in the day. And Disney? Wait a minute. How could these two fine companies come together? Oh, I recognize that part of that music. Way forward. Could it possibly be? It's Scrooge McDuck! That can only mean one thing. Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and welcome to Let's Play DuckTales Remastered! Well, right after finishing my original DuckTales LP, I thought, you know what? Well, I knew I wanted to LP this game, the remastered version of it, since it just came out, and I've been a huge DuckTales fan since I was growing up. As I mentioned in my previous LP, I played this game several times, and I just love this game. Uh, or I love this series so much, and I love the original, and wanted to bring it to you in order to prep you for this LP right here. So, and you can just listen to the music in the background. It's just jamming. An updated version of the theme. Yeah, this is gonna be great. Uh, this is gonna be just so much fun. So, all right, let's push start and let's get going. And there's Scrooge. Okay, and we wanna start a new game. Uh, existing save data will be overwritten, excluding the total money and gallery unlocks. Yeah, so we want that for sure. And we want to do it on the hard difficulty because, like I said, I did, uh, I did a medium for uh, my LP of uh, the original game, so let's step it up. Let's do hard mode and see what happens. Let's go. Uh oh. A bomb? Whoa! More bombs? Is this like a Zelda game? Oh no! The Beagle Boys! And there's a lot of them! Cuss me, Kiltz. Me money bin alarm. Quick, Duckworth, get the limo. I shall, uh, <clears throat> get out in gear, sir. Hurry, Duckworth, hurry! The pedal is to the middle, Mr. McDonald. Oh, man. Oh, well, there's Duckworth and Scrooge. Oh, not the Beagle Boys again. If they think they can stand between Scrooge McDuck and his three cubic acres of cash, they've got another thing coming. You go get him, Scrooge. All right. And now we're in control of Scrooge McDuck, and... Oh, this is a new level. We didn't get to explore the money bin in the first game. That's kind of cool. All right. So basically, you just walk around with Scrooge, and you push the X button to jump. And just like before, you can find hidden treasures. Um, just around and, and about, and stuff like that. And yeah, again, the X button jumps. So we just walk around and hmm. Uncle Scrooge! Uncle Scrooge up here! Uh oh! Oh! Huey! Are you all right, my boy? Yeah, but you better watch out! The Beagle Boys mess with your security system! Whoa! Yeah! We take over the whole place! Yeah! Be money! Oh, 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 don't worry, lad, I'll save you. All right, so in this game, you push the square button or the circle button to do, Mama, be so proud. To do a pogo jump. I caught me a duck. That's great, Eagle Boy. So yeah, so just jump and push the Y button and you can... Help. Boom! Ha-ha! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Now that's what I call a stomachache. You were hit on the head, you moronic marauder. Thanks, Uncle Scrooge. You're welcome, lad. But Huey, what are you doing here? Well, we saw the Beagle Boys going into the money bin. We? Sure. Louie and Dewey are here, too. You better hurry, Uncle Scrooge. They might be in trouble. Oh, of course they are. Okay. Well, thanks, Huey, for the tip. So, now just like before, you can just bounce around and just like in the last game, uh, the, the money values are exactly the same. The small ones are worth 2,000. The yellow ones are worth 10,000. And if you find a red one, it's worth 50,000. And you also don't have to push the down button uh, while doing while jumping um, to do a pogo. To do a uh, pogo jump in this game. So that's nice. I like that. Okay. Up. Keep the thing up here. And there's just some treasures. And Scrooge will give us some nice commentary there. Haha! I think I forgot to get a red diamond up there. 
deal again. No, dang it. Oh well. So anyways, I think there's a red diamond up in that upper left-hand corner. I forgot to get it. No big deal. Believe me, I'll, I'll be at plenty of time to get lots of treasure in this game in this universe. Trust me. Yeah, there's just money all over the place. Okay, so let's go here. Look at that luster. Yeah, I know. It's so nice. Haha. <laughs> yeah, there's a little commentary and stuff, and I'll try and... Won't talk as much so you can hear it. Because there's some funny, uh... Okay, so when you walk up to an item, just swat it, and there you go. And you only have to do it once. Uh, in, in the original game, you had to swat at it twice. But you only got to do it once in this one. Okay, come here, Beagle Boy. Like in Star Tropics 2. Hmm. Get away from him, you gluttonous goon! Sorry, Scroogey. Not a chance. Oh, really? Oh, we'll see about that. I'm oh. Starving. Dang it. Well, if we do this one first. Ha mm. <laughs> ha! <laughs> He's a sucker for food, just like me. You saved me, Uncle Scrooge! I did. How you hunt lot? Stay here. I'll handle this. That's right. Scrooge is a tough old Irishman. He'll whoop that ass. Okay, we can sound some rocks flying, so just tee it up. And away we go. Dang it! Oh crap. Yep. Do that. Like I said, I'll have plenty of opportunity to get cash in this game these universe, so if I miss a couple here and there, it's not a big deal. Yep. Always want to be checking for money. You never know where it's going to be. Climbing up. Alright. There we go. By the way, uh, just like in the previous game also, ice cream uh, restores your health by one. Uh, and a cake gives you full uh, life back. So, again, this is very, very, very similar to the original. There's a red diamond. Jump up here. Take another red diamond. More money for me money bin. Indeed. Boom! Four! Yeah. There you go. Probably some more. Oh, well. All right. Oops. Wow. He only took one hit, one heart loss from getting smashed by that. Hurry up, that Scrooge! They're headed for your office! Hold on, lad. I'll have you free in a jiffy. Not so fast, big jump. We're running things around here now. Cuss me, kilt. One false move and I'm a roast duck. Leave me, a Scrooge! It's not worth it! Nonsense, my boy. Oh, dang it. Okay. That one. Never beat us, Scrooge. There we go. Hey, when I get the gold, I'm gonna find Mom. There we go. Oh! Ha <laughs> ha! Good job, team. We almost got them all. A fat lot of good that will do us if they make it to me vault. All right. Well, we gotta hurry up and see if we can find the rest of them. Now I need some help too. Boom! See you later, Beagle Boy. Do that. There we go. And of course, watch, don't fall into the pits, otherwise you're... Hey, a one-up! All right! And don't fall into the pits, otherwise you, you die. All right. Uh-oh. Step away from me, Fortune, you crook. Not this time, McDuck. Oh, man. Oh, you ain't getting the drop on this big old boy. Uh oh. And now it's time for a boss battle against. And I died. Oops. Okay, let's try that again. 
And now it's time for a boss battle against the Big Time Beagle. Your now, to, to defeat this guy, suspenders. what you do is he'll, he'll throw an item, and then you gotta avoid the item, ideally. And then jump on his head. Now, if he throws one of those... Uh, throws one of those uh, yellow heads, it means he's gonna throw in the air. And if he throws a globe, he's going low. Got him! Curse you, muck duck! This ain't the last you'll see of me! Yeah, good riddance to bad beagles, I say. Now, why in the world was he interested in this old painting? Surely there are more valuable... Huh? Well, pluck me pin feathers. It looks like some kind of secret code. Boys, boys! What did you find, Uncle Scrooge? Yeah, what is it? I'm not sure, but I know how to find it out. I'll feed it into my supercomputer and use Gyro's new crypto analysis program. Then we'll know what the Beagle Boys were after. <laughs> Stand back, lads. Of course, he has one conveniently on hand. Brick a doon! What is it, Uncle Scrooge? It's a treasure map, lads. And no ordinary treasure by the look of things. Only Uncle Scrooge would call any kind of treasure ordinary. Yeah! One of the treasures is in the middle of the Amazon. And there's another one in Transylvania. And one very ten miles underground. Hey, wait a minute. Something screwy. This last treasure can't be right. Yeah, there's no mountain on Earth that's that high. Well, according to the Junior Woodchuck's guidebook, to get there we'd have to take about 537 million steps straight up till we reach the moon. You mean the moon moon? It looks that way, lads. <laughs> well, what are we waiting for? That treasure's not going to discover itself. And now, we get to begin our adventure, just like before. We can travel to the Amazon, to Transylvania, the African mines, the Himalayas, and the moon. Now, before doing that, there's a couple other things I do want to show you. Now, this is kind of cool. If we go here, we open up this, and we can go for a swim in Scrooge's money bin. <laughs> this is an awesome touch. So you just jump around and... Scrooge can go swimming, and he'll, he'll spit out coins uh, every now and then. So this is kind of a cute little touch. And when you enter this area for the first time, you get a you get a trophy. And he just said, "Up my goal!" So yeah, that's kind of cool. So I think that's a really neat touch that the game threw in there. The other thing is, if you go over here and stand by Duckworth, I'll show you this. Uh, you can go and you can uh, buy some different types of things. And I've already unlocked a bunch of stuff because I've gone through a playthrough of this game, obviously. And you can just go through and here's some portraits of the different characters and all that kind of good stuff. We'll be seeing all these characters as we go. And there's some concept arts. This is what, you know, this is what things used to look like, kind of the final production and some sketches. There's what the money bin kind of looks like. Used to, it has an idea of what it looked like. There's kind of some concept arts. This is kind of some, some kind of cool stuff. And some different kind of sketches. I may, uh, in a bonus episode, show you everything and kind of what they all mean. And then there's some pencil renderers, which I haven't purchased yet. And basically, to purchase something, uh, to get a music, yeah. So, and so, as you can see, I still have some things to purchase, and, and eventually you can unlock all of this stuff and get a trophy, so that's kind of cool. So, you, to purchase something, you just go over top of it, purchase it, you say yes, and this is what a, a pencil artist uh, sketch looks like of this particular scene. I believe this looks like something from the, the Amazon jungle, so that's kind of cool. And some background paintings. Now, I don't know if you can set this as your desktop or as your as your uh, background of your PS3. I'll have to look into that because I just purchased this stuff today, so I'll look into that. And you can buy some tunes. Uh, let's see. What's uh, one of our favorite tunes? Let's see if I can find... Uh, is there a moon tune? Yeah, there is. Approach this, and let's take a listen. And it's got some musical score in the background, so you can revisit some some music from the original Ducktales. So that's pretty cool. There you 
there you go. So anyways. And I just keep running, so I think that's awesome. And eventually, and you have to buy more and more stuff before you can unlock the next types of things, some TV show art and stuff like that. So anyways, that's just kind of a nice little optional thing that they threw into to, so we can actually do something with all of our money. And there you are. And But what, uh, I guess I should say, now we can begin our adventure. But what do the new worlds look like? And can we find all of the different treasures around the world? Well, you'll have to wait till next time to find out. So then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Don't forget to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter at BCS Buster LP, check out the donations page, and as always, take care, y'all.